Enter into the dangerous dungeons of Myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on beastofwar.com and begin your story. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com. Hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box, and today we're doing some Warzone Mutant Chronicles. Today we have the fantastic looking Fenris bikers. Right, uh, John, what do you want to say about these? These are lawnmowers. God damn it, really? They look like lawnmowers. Look like a little okay, ride on okay, lawnmowers. Okay, they look like lawnmowers. <laughs> they, they, they look like angry space guts on lawnmowers. Yes. Right, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get them out of the box. Uh, here, you take that. I'll take this. Right, da, 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 da. I do like the idea of these. They are absolutely gorgeous looking models too. Yeah. So if you open that up, uh -huh. I've got the three main chassis, shall we call them. Uh, so we'll get those under close camera for you. The design is really, really cool. Uh -huh. You know, they they do have a very aggressive looking feel. It, it looks as if they've just taken a mini tractor and just said, yeah, let's ship this thing up. Yeah, a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, like you, you're getting three in the box as well, so this is going to be a nice little unit for you. Yep. And once you actually see them on the tabletop, it's it's going to be a little bit intimidating for your opponent. Yep. Because you have those. oh right, so now most people would assume this is a front tire. This is not a front tire. This is the rear seat where you've actually got your passenger sitting on it as well. So mm -hmm. those are going to plug in to the back. They are very very cool. I like the amount of detail they went into, right down to even just you know the little bits of suspension and stuff that are in here. Yeah. And then all your rear tail lights and everything like that. Uh, let's move along to the next component, shall uh, we? Right. Well, there's the front as well. Ah, right. Now, these I have dubbed the miniaturized sci-fi Collins Hedgerow car. <laughs> it is what it is. If you run into someone with these, they are going to hurt a lot. They are. You know you. You'll, you'll do the typical thing, take them out of the shins. <laughs> you know. Oh look, there's someone from Vihash. Right, um, crew. Crew. Okay, so, we do get a lot of variation in this. So, you've got your main riders who are looking really badass, big bald guys with beards. Gotta love it. Mm -hmm. You then have, behind them, very angry looking women with very, very nicely done armour. Except on one of the bikes, which it's the other way around. Really? Mm hmm So, well, let's... I assume this is one of the, the passengers. I'll assume that's the driver. So that's a pair. Mm hmm We have another driver. Uh, here we have... That's the third driver. Third driver. Are you sure it's the other way around? Yeah. Because... Well, actually, yeah, that could be one of the drivers. Yeah, that's one there. Yeah, well, we'll have to see whenever we get them built. But the miniatures are incredible. There is a ton of detail on these for mm -hmm. these guys. Now, these guys work for Imperi Imperial, but they are a sub-faction, yeah. which I, I, I kind of like that we are seeing some sub-factions come in, because it gives you a bit more of a flavour of the world of what's happening in the mm -hmm. world. So, next up. Uh, we have the cloaks for the guys, and on two of the cloaks, you'll see the forearms of two of the, the riders at the back. Ah, so, they're actually holding on to the rider at the front. I see. So, they've gotten by the scruff of the neck. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> you know, okay, I don't have anything to hold on to here. Scruff of the neck. That'll do. Mm -hmm. The actual way they've sculpted the cloth is really nice on these, if it I don't is. send it flying. Uh, you know, it's got a really nice sense of motion to it. Yeah. You it know, which is really, really, really cool. You'll have a little bit of venting and stuff to take off, but nothing too severe. Yeah. And the last one, I don't know why they're not holding on, but they're apparently not, because I'm not seeing an arm here, and I'm guessing that's going to be a different pose. Mm -hmm. So, next up. Arms. Arms. Lots of arms. Lots of arms. All the arms. Be careful, they're armed and dangerous. Ha! Ha! See what you did there, that was terrible. Yeah, so of course it was. Oh, wow! Yep, so the the guy, the, the people that sit on the back, generally the females, apart from one of them, have these, um, like, claws. Yeah, it's, it's... I'm gonna say, if you've played Street Fighter, you'll remember Vega. Mm. It, it kind of looks as if they've just, you know, raided his supply of claws. <laughs> Uh, so you're getting a few different people with ones like that. So I'm guessing there's going to be one of these which actually just has both arms out with the claws. Yeah. You then have the other little arms here which are going to be going onto the bikes to actually hold your your actual uh, handlebars. I think this one's actually got a little pistol up if I'm looking at it right. Yeah, which but is quite it's, nice. it's a, a wrist-mounted ah, thing. Ah, I see, I see. Very, very nice. Next up. Next up we have these which I'm really happy to see. We have little Ooh. scenic bases. Okay, now that... It's a very nice touch. So uh -huh. if I put one of these actually onto the base, 
you can see it. So you're getting that really nice sort of broken earth. Mm -hmm. And that's going to paint up really nicely. You know what I would love to do? I'd love to get a little stencil that would let me put some graffiti down on this. Yeah. And just graffiti up the bases a little bit would look really, really cool. Yep. So it's, it's the little extras like that that really, really set things like this off. Mm -hmm. just, it makes them a really nice little showpiece, you know. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know if there's rules out for these just yet, but I'll, I'll assume they are just really, really a charge forward type yeah. of unit, you know. They definitely have to be a very aggressive, very close combat -y sort of look to them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. They look as if they can do a bit of shooting as well with those little wrist mounted guns, yeah. which I think it's, it kind of makes sense that if you have a, a melee berserker, you know, you're not going to have to have them worry about holding a gun. Just yeah. mount it on the rest and it's just like, if you get a shot, you know, you've blocked someone and just, oh look, my gun's pointed at your face. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, John, I'm going to send you away to build these yes. and we'll have a look at them after the break. Okay, we're back. John, how did the build go for these? These are actually pretty decent. Um, because I'm not too familiar with the range, I did make a couple of little full paths, but I managed to correct them. Okay. The nicest thing about this range of models in general is the, the resin is not brittle. Right. It has a bit of flex to it. Now that I like. Yeah, so when you're shaving off the vents and stuff, you're not worrying about a bit suddenly chipping and flying off into the ether. Yeah, or uh, hitting you in the eyeball, which I've had happen a couple of times with some company yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's that too, but it's just nice resin to work with. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah, all right, um, well, uh, let's actually just jump straight in yeah, and start having a look it. at them. So we've got the three of them here. I'm going to pull two of them out of the way. So we've got our first one here. Yeah, it's the male front rider with mm -hmm. a, a female, well, on the back. we say, yeah, who's ready to slice someone basically off at the neck. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really nice. Looks really dynamic. Uh, I love the design of the cloak just kicking out to the side and around. Mm -hmm. So once you actually get some paint down on this, I don't know. I think I would do this in a bright orange like they've done on the box. I'd like, to see, um, done I'd, I'd like to see Ang Angle Heraldes get his hands on these and do a flame job or something. Oh. You know, like do a, a blue body with red flames or yeah. you know, blue flames on something. Blue, You're making Optimus flames, Prime yeah. as a lawnmower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. We then have the other one which is exactly identical, I think. More or less, or, the pose is slightly different. Yeah, there's a very, very slight change, but you have that sort of uniformity to a unit, and then we have the one, you, so you were correct, John, there is one of them where it's a, a female yep. who's the driver, and the man at the back is just going and seeing both arms out, going, right, this is the come and have a go, you know, yeah. sort of pose again. <laughs> you know, imagining these charging across the battlefield within the Warzone universe mm. is very, very cool. I mean, like, the, the guys from this particular sub-faction sort of have that reputation of being absolutely, you know, up for it, you know, the pure berserker sort of mentality. Mm. You know, I like the fact that even down to the wheels that they've actually sculpted in some treads to that. It's yeah. just, it's the tiniest little details like that that really make it jump out at you. See, when, if, if I ever came to paint these, mm. I would add one thing to it. I would have a big dust cloud forming off the tires. Aye. You know, and give that real sense of speed because they have a sense of speed to them because of the way the cloaks are flowing, the way the riders are holding on and they have one claw up or whatever. All right, well, important question then, John, and I'm going to put it under close camera for this. Do you think it's front or rear wheel drive? Uh, that's... Uh, hang on, I'm going to look at the <laughs> other one. Uh, I think, I think, possibly rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive. All right, well, everybody can argue about that in the comments below. I'm going to say front wheel drive. Mm. Just because of the way it's designed, although I'm not exactly sure, because then you're steering off your front wheels, which really changes how it would handle. Yep. And I suppose you would like to imagine this thing just drifting around a corner. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, uh, that'll do for these. Uh, drop your comments below. Have you used them in game yet? Are they any good? Uh, we'll move on here. We will see you in the next video. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on BeastsOfWar.com.